The key finding from this research is that we've identified a novel predictor of mortality that's based on a biological clock. The clock uses information on chemical modifications to DNA, called DNA methylation, which we can think of as switching genes on and off. Specifically, we looked at the difference between the biological age estimates and the chronological age estimates, and we found that individuals whose biological age was older than their chronological age were more likely to die sooner. The project was a collaboration between researchers in the United States, Edinburgh and Australia, and we followed up participants from four different cohorts over, in some instances, decades, and we were relating their mortality ascertainment in these various studies to the baseline measures of the biological clock. I think what's really interesting about this research is well, the follow-up question, so why do individuals' biological clocks differ? and you know, from their chronological age and what potentially modifiable lifestyle factors could have an influence on these clock estimates. For example, you know, smoking or education, social engagement, are these things likely to influence one's biological clock? So whether this information is informative for an individual is very difficult to tell at the moment because our analyses are based on population estimates, so we see a general trend in the population such that those who tend to look a bit older are more likely to die sooner. However, at the individual level, it's very difficult to make a prediction. We're following up the study in much larger populations now to check the robustness of these findings, and we're also part of many collaborative efforts to try and identify the factors that are influencing these biological clock estimates and why individuals differ. So the risk factors and the factors that accelerate one's biological aging compared to their chronological aging. So we think this is a really exciting finding. It's the first time that a biological clock based on DNA methylation has been associated with mortality. And by investigating things further, we may be able to suggest lifestyle changes that can improve the quality of life for older individuals.